ignorance. Looks like it's all the same stuff. Cretans. Cretans. Oh, man. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Layers of Fear, Episode 2. We've got the skin, the blood, the rest of these are locked. It looks like this mirror is... Well, I don't remember how that used to look. But we have our photo book here, and our, our little... Wait a minute. Something's... Oh, stop looking at me like that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work, that's all. Some liquid courage for your grand art opening. I'm not sure why that was trying to speak to me. I feel like I've, I've looked at it before, but then I take it for granted that everything is the same as it has been instead of re reinvestigating things. Huh. Okay, all right, then I guess we, we move on. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this is. But it absolutely keeps changing. Hmm. Form emerges. Okay, what? What? Alright, let's do a quick sweep. Hmm. Kids art set. Okay. Nothing. What the? What? Is this window open? And it broke the vase? Oh, okay. Nope. No. We're not doing that. We're going this way. Um. Yeah. Do you think that door is locked? Are you sure? Do you think a key will fix that problem? Oh, hello. Rodent seeds, rotten soil, nothing else grows. I see the dirt move. What? Oh my. Okay. Nope, nothing there. I need to be more diligent in my search if I'm gonna find all of the text and story items. Wait, it's locked? Oh, that's the way I came from. Right, this is it. Okay, all right. It's quiet. We're locking stuff up with chains now, apparently. Okay, so some of these cabinets are able to be opened. We're tearing up the house? Oh! Um... Right. Right, of course, that's what happened. See, and I knew something was going to happen. I knew something. Up oh. About a boy who wakes up in a cave. He finds a mysterious note and a gun. He then journeys through various environments, woods, fields, and rivers. Eventually, he winds up at a small cabin, where it turns out this has all been a product of his subconscious, brought upon by a traumatic childhood memory. 
He killed the guy who had murdered his father. In the real world, he's been drooling in a loony bin this whole time. Get it? The twist is sort of gimmicky, but I think it works. Could you storyboard it for me? If you're interested, I'll send you the details right away. Frankly, I think you should take this job. It pays well, and it would take your mind off of, well, you know, everything else. Please let me know as soon as possible. Thomas Caldwell. Is that sort of a foreshadowing of what's going on with us? Are we just in the loony bin drooling? It's too dark to see what's going on in there. Okay, through the next door. Um, locked, okay. Got that door's open, so is that door. Hmm, we must choose, but choose wisely. Oh, these are not doors. Okay, nope, there are no choices, just bookshelves and, hello, haunting mimics, knock, 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 only clothes left behind, not going to let them in. Okay, so these rats are either a very serious issue, or they're indicative of the mental anguish we're going through. I'm not sure. What? Okay, alright, then forward we must go. Creator's block? Oh no! Oh no! Wait, wait, what? Is that... <gasps> A key. Okay, that gave me some very serious goosebumps. <laughs> Okay. What? That shadow back there, it looks like a, a full-size person. Wait, is this not a... What is... What? Wait. Wait a minute. Okay. Mm. Absolutely wrestling with madness. Absolutely. Well, we have a key. Oh, oh, it was for this. Which, um, May 23rd, how can two people who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly drift so far apart. My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one failed painting after another. He won't even sleep with me anymore. I can tell he's disgusted by me. The look he gave me the other day, that pathetic, hurtful look, a combination of shame, guilt, and repulsion. I've come to realize that I've become a monster in my husband's eyes. It feels like nothing a woman should ever experience. Still being the good wife that I am, I decided to realize my husband's fantasy. If he thinks me a monster, I will sure as heck act the part. What does that even mean? Don't forget, June 9th. Hmm. Okay. I won't forget June 9th. Hmm. Guess that's all there is to this room. <sighs> oh! Right. Right. 
Well, at least they're finding new and creative ways to make me jump. Goodness. Okay, well, let's get a light on. That door is all blocked up. Oh, here we go. September 15th. More notes today, even worse than before. The sad part is I agree with every word. Every word of what? Mm. What? It's a man with a knife and... Oh, I can't see because of that shadow. Oh, somebody had a very bad day. Oh, let's run into the room with lights. Right? One way? Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, I feel like I keep coming into this intersection, and it's different every time. Every single time. Okay. And we've got dominoes. Okay. Oh, a note. Uh, no, nothing I can read, apparently. Nothing important. Books just <laughs> piling in the room. Hmm. Question is, are both of these doors going to be open? Nope. We're going to shut that door. <laughs> Let's go check out this door. This lamp won't turn on. There it goes. Oh, it's like a stairs balcony no I think we're gonna go the other way I don't like having to pick I don't but we're going in here okay and this door didn't shut on me so I chose right <gasps> mm. Mm. I don't I don't like that picture that picture bothers me ugly ugly, ugly. You ordered a true portrait, so that's where I painted, you fucking pleb. Oh. Maybe I need to kick some artistic sense into your stupid face! Well, it's... I don't know if I'd use the word ugly. It's disturbing. Ingrates, blind fools, simpletons... Ignorance... Looks like it's all the same stuff. Cretans. Cretans. Oh, man. What does that say? This one's different than the others. Is that all there was in here? Is that memento? Okay. All right. I guess we are going to the stairs. Or to the balcony, rather. Yeah, exactly. There's no turning back now. Hmm. I don't think I'm familiar with this part of the house. Okay, locked door. Then I guess we'll go downstairs. Everything should be fine. Yeah, see, the room didn't change. It's exactly as I thought it would be. So many books and papers. What about you? Hey, look at that. That's not something of importance? Oh. Ooh, ooh, wait, that's a picture. Can't I... Mm, no, I can't interact with the picture. How about now? No, none of these notes, none of these pictures. 
or you want me to go through that hallway. Really nothing of value here. Okay, all right. Fair enough. Then onward we shall continue. It's like a phone, right? If I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still out of respect for you and your wife, I've examined the case thoroughly and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. So the, the wife was the one burned. What you refer to as a freakish grin or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress. That's something to be ashamed of. As you demand that we quote-unquote fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. Sincerely, another, crack, another quack. Let's get the phone, though. You're just going to make me go around this again? Okay, well, I want to answer the phone. Can I not answer it? Okay, so what happens if I keep going this way? Really, again? Really? Oh, wait, wait, it's... Okay, okay, it's... We've got to walk this way to make everything happen properly the way it's supposed to. Otherwise, we're going back in time. Right. Okay. All right. That that was interesting. Restless memories. <laughs> okay. Walking over glass and blood. Okay. <gasps> what the heck was that? I don't... I don't... I don't want to go back. Uh, what? What? What is going on here? Something thoughts? Flapping horror, be quiet. Constantly flapping. Eating other rats. What is going on with the rats? Can we get the lights on, please? Wait. Wait. What? Hold on. Okay, so we fixed this room. Wow, alright. Remember to look for those light switches. Very important. What else do we have in here? We're looking to get into some of this some juicier exposition. Are they gonna keep us in the dark till the very end? 
Okay, so at least we know it was my wife that was burned, which is what I thought. Based on the clues we had gotten, but the fact that I'm walking around with this peg leg, maybe we were both in the fire. I figured it was going to be something like that. What is... What? Okay. Okay. So we just had to turn on the light. And we made it. We made it. Hope is the mind killer. Hope is the mind killer. Okay. So there's just not going to be any hope. Fair enough. What? What is... Oh, because the, the... Yeah, 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 of course. The door's not... The door's not shut. There we go. And down we go. Okay. It's just an old elevator. Abandon hope while you can. Okay, well, I don't want to go back up, but I will abandon hope if you say so. What do we have here? In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We'll have a chance of winning this, believe it or not. I've gotten clients out of deeper stuff than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal to the court. Let me appeal the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning, a momentary lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling, better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your daughter. Obviously things got so bad. I've lost my daughter. Okay. One empty room to another. Just checking. All right. What is this, the basement? It looks like the basement, doesn't it? Okay, door there. What the heck is over there? Hmm. Interesting. All right, I guess we're going through this door. Okay. It's just a rodent. Oh, it's like the flooring's not even... The flooring's not even put together. We're like walking across planks here. Walk the plank. Um... Hmm. Oh, it's a sink. Right. All right, well, you can turn it off. Go ahead. Hmm. Interesting.
Okay, so this bathroom has... No. Open the door back up. Don't shut the door on me. Silent floaters. They clog the drains. Fur in the water. No baths for me. What's going on with these rats? Okay. Do you hear something? No, I guess it was just me. Hmm, there I am. Mm, nope, just another rat picture. Okay, so we'll move forward. Hmm. Oh my. So this, this switch does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Fair enough. Hmm, the door locked. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, it's so dark. I just don't want to miss anything on the floor, though. Hmm. What? Why? Why would... Why would this door even be locked? I don't understand. Ooh! A key! Ah, see? You've got to check every little thing. Okay, well then we're going back to this one. Oh no! Oh, this one has a latch too. Hmm. Somebody broke my scale. My kitchen scale. There's nothing in here. There's got to be something in here. Right? I mean, I tried to open the door. I didn't even notice there was a latch on it because of the flicking light. So I'm going to have to... Uh, the flickering light. So I'm going to have to pay extra close attention to any kind of bolts on top of doors. Why would this one lock from the outside even? It's like a pantry. That's weird. What is that? What? That's bizarre. There was the key. Okay. Well, there's got to be something good in here, right? Aha. From love to madness, man apprehended after kidnapping his own daughter. Earlier today, a typical quiet and peaceful neighborhood witnessed a scene straight out of a crime drama as social services accompanied by armed police officers descended upon the residence of us. A once famous painter and a recent widower... Apparently, the man had broken into a children's care center downtown and absconded with one of the young patients. Our sources claimed that the girl was, in fact, the culprit's daughter, who had previously been removed from his care after a family court ruling. After unsuccessful attempts at negotiation, fearing that the man might harm the child, police officers stormed the building and apprehended the suspect. Eyewitnesses claim that... As the paramedics escorted the girl out of the house, the man, still in handcuffs, fell to his knees and repeatedly exclaimed, Please, she's all I have left. A truly tragic turn. So that means... So that means the wife passed away. But then why was the kid removed from our care? Hmm. Well, that's a big piece of exposition for the story. I don't think there's going to be anything else in that room. Another bolted door here. 
And that door is unlocked. Well, we're going to go through the bolted door first. Yep, another little tiny closet of a room. Ooh. Body borrowers. Feeding on me. Driving me insane. Too fast to cut out. Oof. It's like a recurring trend. Definitely struggling with a little bit of that mental illness. Guess that's all there was in here. Another little rat drawing. All right. Then forward we march. What is this? Um, that's not where I came from. That's a brick wall. Yeah, that's a brick wall. I'm sensing a trend here. I think we're going down the long, dark, ominous hallway. <gasps> oh. Oh, everything's all... Oh. Crooked and twisted. Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Oh, some lights. It was so dark I couldn't even see at the bottom of the stairs. Wait. This is the basement. Isn't it? Well, what's going on over here? Okay. So it looks like the piano's over there. What's that sound? Something is like vibrating. Ugh. Yeah, all the fabric and cloth is just burning off of everything. Gotta check to see if there's anything over here. Huh, the sound stopped. Dangling dread, patient, thirsty, furry leeches, afraid to look up. Ugh! Ugh! Hmm. And all the covers are just decaying off of everything, but what's the relevance for that? Apparently all the covers were removed off everything. And there was nothing besides the rat picture and this room now. Yeah, so that sound is when the tarps are being removed. That's what that weird low frequency sound is. I guess we're playing the piano. Oh no! It broke the clock? What? Whoa. Oh, wow. Look at this. Can I push stuff? Oh, I can. Everything's just floating up. Oh. Oh, wow. Just pushing stuff everywhere, huh? Okay, well, I can't see in here anymore. Oh! No, 
let's let's get out of here maybe should I stay or should I leave I don't know I don't want to miss the crescendo um I needed to okay. remove the flesh from the bone Ooh. at first I was lost as to how but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had hmm. to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. What the heck? So now that's it, and now we just leave. Like, roots and stuff? Uh, I'm just gonna run back, yeah. I think that's what we'll do. We'll just, we'll just leave. We'll just head on back. Glad I found that light switch before I went in there. Right, that's where I thought we would end up. And here we are. What if you fail? What what happens if I fail? Oh, here we go. The bone white paint. What the? Well, now what I thought I saw it becoming, it's not even, it doesn't even look, it's, I don't even know, it's just a big mess. Oh, look, we got... Number three. Mm. Interesting. I hate even now, lost, alone, hopeless, you'll always be a grotesque misunderstanding. Finish it. Oh yeah, look at all our little... Mm-hmm. Our little rat drawings. So it looks like they change the contents of these drawers pretty often, although I'm sure I'll check those at the beginning of next episode because that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap things up today. So this has been Layers of Fear, Episode 5. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching because as always I've had a good time playing so come back next time as we figure out what happens if we fail and maybe what this is but until next time take care